Hi, this is Dr. A with your medical terminology, and we're going to look at diagnostic procedures for the respiratory system. So let's start with clinical lab tests. Um, the first one is arterial blood gases, also known as ABGs, and this is a test that is done on arterial blood to uh, test oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in the blood. The advantage of doing it in arterial blood is that you can check how the lungs are functioning and how they're oxygenating the blood and removing the carbon dioxide. Um, this test is often drawn by respiratory therapists, but it, it can also be drawn by lab techs. The sputum culture and sensitivity is a culture of the sputum, which is a mucus that comes from the lower respiratory system, from the bronchi or lungs. And of course, we'll look for bacterial growth. If the bacteria are present, then it tells, the test will help us tell us what type of bacteria are present and what antibiotic they are sensitive to. Sputum cytology is the examination of sputum for malignant cells, so you'll be looking for cancer cells. So let's look at some diagnostic imaging tests. So we have bronchogram is an x-ray record of the bronchus, bronchography, is an x-ray of the lung after the inhalation of a radio-opaque substance. A chest x-ray, or CXR, is an x-ray of the organs of the thoracic cavity. Usually the lungs is really what we're looking at, but we all can still can see the heart and other things. Pulmonary angiography is an x-ray of the lungs after injection of a dye into a blood vessel. A ventilation perfusion scan uh, is a nuclear medicine test where radioactive air is inhaled and radioactive dye is injected for perfusion portion to help detect pulmonary emboli. So perfusion has to do with blood flow and ventilation has to do with airflow. So it's to check, see if what air, where the air is going and flowing into the lungs and then where the blood is able to pick it up. Uh, and so uh, where the blood is coming around the capillaries of the alveoli. A bronchoscope is an instrument used to visualize uh, the bronchial tubes, and bronchoscopy is the visual examination of the bronchial tubes um, using the bronchoscope. It's often uh, referred to as a bronch. The laryngoscope is an instrument that is used to visually examine the larynx, and laryngoscopy is visually examining the larynx using the laryngoscope. And so, for example, here is an example of bronchoscopy, uh, and they put a tube down and go through the nose to go down into the lungs to see what's going on. Uh, let's look at some of the pulmonary function tests, or so, uh, an oximeter, uh, so is an instrument to measure the amount of oxygen in the bloodstream. It's usually like on the finger, and it uh, pinches the finger and just gets a reading. It's pretty easy. Um, oximetry is a procedure of measuring oxygen level in the blood using an oximeter. So uh, again, on the finger, it usually uses uh, um, red light to uh, look at the oxygen in the capillaries and to measure the oxygen per percent concentration. All right. A pulmonary function test, or a PFT, is a group of tests that uh, help measure airflow in and out of the lungs, the lung volumes, uh, lung capacities, and gas exchange. And a spirometer is what we use to do a PFT. So it's an instrument that is used to measure lung capacity. And spirometry is the procedure of measuring lung capacity using a spirometer. And so it is a, a pulmonary function test, basically. And so uh, this diagram uh, explains a little bit some of these lung volumes and lung capacities. Uh, I have it also in the anatomy and physiology uh, review here. But um, so we have um, the normal resting breath. So that's called the tidal volume, breath in and out, right? The inspiratory reserve volume is the excess volume of air that you can take in on top of the normal breath. The expiratory reserve volume is the normal amount of air you can get out of your lungs in addition to a normal breath. Uh, the total lung capacity would be the as much air as you can take in and then as much air as you can breathe out. So that's, that's a, um, I'm sorry, that's the vital uh, capacity and the total lung capacity is the vital capacity plus the residual volume, which is the amount of air that's left in your lungs uh, even after you breathe everything that you can out. So. 
Uh, anyway, that's a good little recap right there. Uh, and this is part of what they do with, with spirometry and pulmonary function tests is to get these uh, measurements to assess lung function. So here you go. That wraps it up for our diagnostics for the respiratory system.